All right, so you want to learn how to create a bundle mockup using Canva. I'm gonna share with you the steps that you need to take in order for you to create something like this. But before I share the technical steps, I want you to know that creating mockups just like this is all about creativity and then utilizing the tools that you're gonna learn in this video to achieve what you want to achieve. So I'm gonna go first sharing how this image is possible and then share with you how to actively and technically build it for yourself. Now, the very first thing is this image is composed by three types of mockups. We have the main TV mockup. Then we have the ebook mockup that is replicated two times here with different sizes. And then I have a multi mockup in one with a box a smartphone and a laptop. Lastly, I've added this icon, all right, this logo for ChatGPT on top of the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you how you can create this mockup, this mockup, and this mockup so that you learn how to put everything together and then recreate your, your, your mockups that you want to build. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the very first thing that I want to share with you is that I don't use mockups from Canva. I use third party. I use media modifier, as you can see here, and I use smart mockups uh, right here. There's just one thing from September, uh, 27th, September, 2024, these will not be open as a standalone services. I believe that Canva has purchased my mockups, but um, I'm not really sure how they are going to incorporate that. So I'm gonna share with you how you can build it through media modifier and smart mockups, and you can replicate with any other mockup builder, okay? First things first, let's go ahead and start with the back, uh, with the back image with that one on, on uh, right below there with the monitor. So what we want is ideally a big monitor. There's two types of big monitors. You can have the IMAX. So if you go to the technology and iMac, you can have these types of monitors. We go to popular. And then you have these IMAX. So just give it just one second. There we go. So you have these types of big monitors, but you can also have TVs. So if you go for mock-up, in this case, technology, you are not really gonna see a TV, okay? So what you need to do, media uh, smart mock-ups in this case, technology, and you have your desktops, TV and screens right there. So if you go to TV and screens and isolate it, you're gonna find this TV and screen. So you can use one or the other, depending on what you are looking for. In this case, I'm gonna go for this one right here. Okay, this is just an example. You can use any of the other ones that I mentioned. So the, what is the next step? The next step is understanding how this is gonna fit in the image. So if you check here, we see that you don't see the entire screen. You just see two thirds of the screen. So this one and two thirds, right, is the ones that people are gonna see. So ideally we need a copy to be right in the middle. So we are going to design having that in mind. Okay, let's go ahead and um, start designing. So we need to have this size. We go to Canva, we go to File and New. Once we have New, we go for Custom Size and press the width right there and go get the other one there, which is the height, done and create a new design. Okay, once we are here, what do we need? We need to add the designs that we want. In this case, I'm gonna go for a gradient and the gradient is gonna go from black, so black, to a light blue. So blue, light, there we go. The next thing I want to do is I want to go and add the colors, so let's just swap those, to go from bottom to top. What I also want to do is add another one so the transition is uh, later and this gradient I actually want it to be darker okay now once we have this what do we need we need a, a headline that says the key to successful copywriting so I'm gonna go to text headline and I'm gonna do exactly like that the key to and then let me see if I have okay the key to and I'm gonna place it right there remember the two-thirds successful let me see if it's well written. Successful, okay. Successful copywriting. 
Now, this one here is in a different color, so I'm gonna add that different color, so probably this one here, okay? Now you can change the font if you like to. I'm using Inter Bold, so you just go to Canva and then just look for Inter, and you should have Inter Bold, and then you can copy to the other one as well, which is Canva, Inter, Inter, and Bold. Okay, this one is one that I'm using. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to check for the details. So I actually have a subheadline. I'm not going to create copy for the subheadline. I'm just going to add it right here. And then the copy is going to be that. But also have in mind that this is not full white. I actually have a little bit of a shade around that. Okay, so it's, it's not as white as the other one on top. What is left? The left is we have a bunch of logos there and we have a bunch of designs. Now, I'm not going to add all the designs here, but I am going to add logos. So let me see if I can find some logos. So I'm going to add this logo, or actually I'm going to add this logo. So, to, where is it? Here. I'm going to add these logos and remove this. I'm going to add these logos and I'm going to make them smaller. And I'm just going to clone them. I'm just going to clone them on Shift um, uh, Alt and clone them again. And now here, I'm going to group, uh, and I'm going to add a little bit of transparency because it's also transparent a little bit there, right? Okay, there you go. That's what I'm be doing. The next part here on the image is um, I have uh, funnel designs. So I'm not going to be building the entire funnel design. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, let me see, membership. So I'm going to go for my membership one, and I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Okay, I'm just going to add a, a screenshot of my uh, funnel and I'm going to paste it so here and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to be using it as all the, the, you know, as the designs just to speed up a little bit the process. But you know, if you want to add other things, you can add other things there as well. So I'm going to make this smaller a little bit so we can add another one. So 19, 19, 19. Okay, cool. So now here I'm just going to go ahead and group actually they don't have oh group there you go and voila so this is one thing uh you know this is just one thing that you can start building of course you can add more details and all that stuff uh, in my image here i also have like a galaxy kind of image uh so i mean you can go ahead galaxy or stars so let's go to elements uh, galaxy let's start to see for photos uh we have a galaxy there so let's go ahead and add this one for example um and i'm gonna add it here but I want to make sure that it's transparent so I'm gonna go ahead a little bit transparency there we go and another thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is below like so layer center back okay so that's what I want to do uh, actually I want to do a little bit more transparency there you go so you can create something like this and add more details as you go okay so this is the base of everything so all I want to do is share, download, and then I'm going to download as it is. There you go. And voila. So this is the first thing that we're going to do to build the entire sequence. So I don't need this, uh, but I do need this. So this is the first thing. So we want to go to, the, to the, the screen and we want to upload it. So let's go to the screen, click on upload, and let's upload the image. So once that is uploaded, you see it doesn't look as perfect. So we might just change this one here uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and download the picture and download it again so let's see if I need to log in yeah I would need to log in so um, I'm gonna go ahead and log in so I can have the pro version all right so there's some kind of problem uh, getting to my pro account because of you know they are shutting down so I don't know uh, let's go back to this one here instead uh, and let's use that image um, on uh, you know, a computer just like this one instead, okay? So let's go here and select the picture. All right, there we go. Let's crop it. There's a picture. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go remove the background, remove the shadows. I don't like the shadows and then download the image. Okay, so now we have the first image to add on the background. What do we need? We need these uh, ebooks. And then we need this other one. And this other one is from a collection of, uh, you know, one mock-up with three things. So let's go ahead and repeat the process, okay? Let's go back to Media Modifier, mock-ups, technology, and then online course. 
If you go to popular and you scroll down, you are going to see this mockup right here. And this mockup is exact mockup that I use here. All you need is an image for this um, window, that one and that one. Okay, so I'm going to skip this process because you just need to create those images for an exact same process that I just did previously. So I'm going to add a few images here. Okay, so all I did was adding images following these screen sizes and adding them, you know, building them with the exact same process on Canva and voila. Okay, there's just one thing, which is this white line. All I need to do is go to box color and then make it black and then it's going to disappear. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to remove the box ground shadow, the background color. I'm going to remove the box shadows highlights, uh, not that one, the laptop ground shadows, and then the laptop phone ground shadows. There we go. I'm going to remove these. And then I'm going to download, download image, and we have the next one. So the last one we need is this one. So this is just one ebook. And then I add it in different, um, you know, in different sizes and then different words. So I'm going to be doing exactly what I did with the previous, uh, with the previous ebook that I created, which is this one here, exact same ebook. Okay. Let's go ahead and build an image for this purpose. So here we need a square image, something around 1200 by a thousand, something like that. Okay. So custom 1200 by a thousand and then create a new image. And then from here, we are going to start adding the pictures. So we're going to add this picture here. And again, we're going to crop it. Okay. We're going to crop it manually. We just want to remove as much space that we don't need here, here, and here. We just need to do that and done. Make it sure that it's a little bit bigger. Now the next thing is going to add the monitor. In the center, we're going to crop it. Okay. So just follow along. It's the exact same process over and over and over. All I need is a little bit of practice and you're going to see that this is very, very simple. Layer, send to back and adjust it. And then lastly, we're going to add the ebooks. So I'm going to go ahead, drag the ebook. I'm going to crop it again. You already know how it goes. Crop it. Crop it here as well. Done. And here I'm going to make this one smaller, another one smaller and another one bigger. Okay. So, oops, just uh, bigger. There we go. So this one, I'm going to send to front this one as well. I'm going to start placing them as they, they usually are placed in the bookshelves. Another thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I see size sizes differences so a book usually is not as bigger than a, a macbook so you want to make sure that you are also respecting that so i'm going to reduce the size of these just reducing here and there we go i'm also going to bring them closer together okay so something like this would work now let me see if there's something else I can do here. Make this bigger, make this bigger, maybe. There we go. So one thing that I like to have in mind is, you know that everything is placed in a, in a, in a, you know, in an invisible table. So the table ends there and they are placed somewhere around these lines, right? So you want to make sure that they are placed in, in a realistic way. So if, for example, you have this book right there, they are not, he's not placed anywhere. He's floating. But if you place him here or here, you can see that this one looks closer than that one. So this one, if it's closer, it should be smaller. And this one should be bigger because it's closer. Okay. So you want to make sure that you are placing somewhere near so that it actually makes sense to, it actually makes sense the sizes and the way that they are placed. Okay. So this one is bigger. Done. Some, something around that. Okay. So you want to have those things in mind. Another thing is I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so we can get the most out of this, um, this picture and voila, that's all we need to do. 
After that, we just export. So we go here, download, we save, we uh, add the transparency background. This is a pro feature. So if you don't have the pro version, you are not able to do this, but I highly recommend you doing it. Or you just download without background and then remove the background using a third party software. And then you just hit download. So once you have this picture, remember this is before, we only need to add the logo there. And this is the picture after. Okay, we just add the logo and voila. This is how you build mockups, highly converting mockups that share the, the value to your clients. And just one more thing before you go, when you are adding and building mockups, make sure that you add diversity, okay? Because if you have the same image here and there and there and there everywhere, people are not going to understand that they are different things and people are not going to understand the value. So the image that is here should be different than this one, should be different than this one, should be different than this one. And these can be identical because they are from the same, you know, uh, library. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can even make them diff different. Because if you make them different, people are going to see, oh, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of value. I'm going to learn a lot of new things. I love this. Okay. This is why I have here uh, in the PDF. This is why I have, this is a collection of the same uh, library. This is different. This is different, this is different, and this is different. All right? So go ahead, have fun, build your bundle mockups. If you want to know how to build feature mockups or special offer mockups, go ahead, look to those videos, and uh, I'll see you then.